It's my birthday! Happy birthday! I am 50 years old today. I have made the half century. <sighs> so I'm going to push my luck. We're out in the mountains all day. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the idea was on my birthday was to ideally climb the east face of Trevan because there's some cool routes there. But it's wet today, so we're doing the traditional north scrambly bit of Trevan. We're going to do the whole horseshoe if everything goes well. Um, but it's not the weather for it. It's, uh, or it is the weather for it, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, to be honest, so climbers, right? When it's dry, we go climbing. When it's wet, we it find other things to do. So we go scrambling in the wet. So this is kind of normal for us. But uh, normally this is a really popular route and it's full of people. It's just us today, partly because of the weather, partly because of the day of the week. Yesterday it was rammed, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Hundreds of people walking up here. So we might have a mountain to ourselves. And not only is it getting steeper, but we're about to get into the cloud. Yay! When we... This is actually bringing back memory. So we, um, we used to do this when we were students, right? Um, and... And well, this is the sort of weather you get in North Wales. So actually, Scrambling up Snowden when it's damp, I was a bit nervous because we haven't done a few years. This is bringing back memories from 30 years ago when we used to do this. Uh, first time we did this, it was cold and it was icy at the top. But this feels really nice now. Remember that we're rock climbers, so <laughs> we're pretty relaxed with this. But also, um, as an ultra runner, I tend to run up and down these mountains, so we know them quite well, he says. You'll often be moving up some gnarly wall and then there'll be a goat perch at the top of it looking down at you wondering what the heck you're doing. Just as you try and make out that this is a dangerous mountain, the baby goats turn up and just completely show you up. Oh, well, they're hardcore. They are. What are you doing over there? Over there. <laughs> These are wild goats now, aren't they? Live on the mountain. Yeah, there's a. Oh yeah, they're all in the rocks down there. <laughs> Kim is really fit right now. She's running loads, she's walking loads. Doesn't look like it at the moment, I'm just not confident in my shoes. We are going vertically. Um, so we're hoping to do more mountains this summer. So this is again kind of a, let's go scrambling in the mountains in the rain and build confidence. And <sighs> um, Yeah, there's a big crack around here as well, so you've got a good handhold. Nice. There you go, it's good foothold. As you haul up into this, it gets better. I don't like your cut to how to get from there to there. Do you got that? Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, there's all holes here. It's the problem with going scrambling with Sam. Sam picks the uh, cool interesting lines. Routes. Yeah, the cool routes. And look, we're at the cloud. Almost so 50 minutes. Come on, go that way. Oh, that's awesome. I love that places like this exist on mountains. It's proper Lord. squish. <laughs> it's proper Lord of the Rings. Fine, as long as you've got a rucksack on. I got a rucksack on. Oh, hello. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> Yeah, I think you've got to go up above this one. Uh, <sighs> yeah, we've got, to, uh, we've got to go up here this way, Kim. Yeah, that, it's that slopey boulder at the bottom is a really dodgy bit, so this is this is good as you get higher now.
is also a big. Oh, yeah. Good <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> this is where it gets a bit um, all contact to scrambling because it's wet, ass and chest and everything. Knees, knees yeah. allowed in this weather. Well. So this is why scrambling in the rain's a bit iffy because everything's just a bit slippery. So yeah, I think we're going up there now. Up ahead. Oh. Yeah, up ahead, right? Mm. Uh, I gave a talk last week in Sheffield and I was talking about how so I started uh, my current anatomy teaching job 20 years ago happens to coincide with my birthday oh it's getting easier now look um, so 20 years ago we built the medicine course in Swansea was it 20 years ago Facebook was founded Google was founded while I was doing, doing my PhD podcasts, Twitter do you feel old yet? I feel less old climbing <laughs> up this mountain actually um, <laughs> Facebook, who else? Oh, YouTube a few years later. Nothing really, none, none of those things existed when I started the job. So they've been around for 20 years. I wonder what they'll be like in the future. Oh, my watch just said storm alert. Cool. I think it's just that we've climbed so fast. Yeah, we are pressure. Hill. Um, Cloud even. And we were doing this 30 years ago when we were in our early 20s. Um, these mountains are still going to be here in 30 years time. <laughs> I just hope I'll try it on your 90s, yeah. I do, what, 80? Yeah, oh, good maths. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if I keep my fitness and my strength, I did a podcast on <clears throat> atherosclerosis last week. Dissectable me, a five minute one. Uh, atherosclerosis in a nutshell. Um, and Kim and I were talking about risk on the way up, because of course, the way that we keep our health and fitness, so climbing mountains, Rock climbing is great at keeping you strong. It's great for your cardiovascular system. It's great for managing, you know, cholesterol, all of those things. And yet, of course, what we're doing is itself is itself inherently risky. But a big part of all of this is managing risks. Um, and we don't want to hurt. We aim to not hurt ourselves. We are equipped. We have skills and knowledge. Um, so while these things often look risky, we try to remove the risk as much as we can. And that's life, right? Balancing risk and reward, doing things, not doing things, reducing the risk, not removing the risk. The phrase is there are old climbers and there are bold climbers but there are no old, bold climbers. <clears throat> All right, just so we were getting comfortable, uh, looks like we're at the first pinnacle. Ooh. Looks ominous, doesn't it? Tips. Starting to feel proper wild now we're going around the pinnacles. Because we're up in the clouds so we can't <laughs> can't see the ground down the gullies. Got the pinnacles up there, and the path is a little bit tricky to find. So it's feeling uh, it's the like uh, it's northward. So 
Um, and uh, there was well, there was ice on uh, Bristley Ridge, wasn't there? Yeah. Oh yeah, That was around the same time of year, wasn't it? It does feel extra gnarly having the 90 to ourselves as well. Oh, really nice. Mm. Oh, that's rocks freezing. Yeah. Over there, maybe? Over there, maybe? So people like to climb mountains on sunny days. Totally get that. It's much nicer. But there's something about the weather that creates so much atmosphere up these mountains. It makes them feel so cool. I mean... It's nice. <laughs> got the anything, not Really in the clouds. Because it, I, like, I, like, I like it when it feels wild, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's difficult to find wild places in Britain. And I like it when it feels wild. Uh, left roller. My feet are around the wrong way. I didn't notice, we're there already. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Those two rocks are called Sean and Sean. Adam and Eve. Uh, I won't be I'm jumping across those today, it's a bit wet. Yeah, we, we've jumped, we've, we've jumped those it. before. Um, I remember we, was it me and Stu did a rock climb, we came up underneath there and then yeah, jumped across Adam and Eve, which was great fun, that was a yeah, while ago. Yeah, there was all those uh, army training lads, they were going <laughs> by brick in there and he wouldn't jump and I just jumped straight across and they were flat. Yeah. And then he felt obliged to do something. <laughs> so he did, he, he'd been pondering it for a while, had not he? So usually the top of Trevan is rammed. <laughs> is rammed with people having their lunches and uh, Trying to get the nerve to jump across uh, across these two. It's not as bad as it looks up there. Um, a bit wet to do it today. Two hours from Ogwen Cottage for us, so no bother, no bother at all, and really, really good fun. Um, there is still more scrambling to do. Got to scramble down the south side, then we'll do Bristley Ridge, and then we might do the whole Bochluid uh, horseshoe. We just, um, we'll just. We've got the whole day, you've got nothing else to do. We'll just keep going and see how we feel. They, they, are, very, they are very wet and slippery today. Oh, you're not going to jump across? No. <laughs> they are really slippery. Please do. Way too slippery. Don't even want to get up there today, but... We I know you made a milestone, but we don't want to end here. Eggshells. If you're coming up a mountain with bananas and oranges, don't leave the peel up here because uh, the goats don't eat them and they're up here for years. Yeah, they contrary don't... to belief, they do take ages to decompose. They take ages to decompose, they don't disappear like you think they do. If take away your rubbish, please. If you thing up here, take Ooh, your bloody back down with you. Absolutely. Look at these two, yay! Oh man, that was, uh, I wanted that to be longer. There we go, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my birthday. Look at this. You did, oh, you did not drop your, did you did not drop your glove in the stream. I did. Ah, oh, you got two pairs of gloves like any pro mountaineer does. You put, the, you put the other ones on. Or, or you put the other ones on, or you, uh, yeah, that is now. It's gonna, it's gonna be really good. Well.